Мрій наше гасло. України діти ми. Нехай Москва лежить в руїнах, а нам на це не чхати. Смерть, смерть москалям, смерть, смерть москалям. Є, все. Hello. Hi, Spike. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. So I'm looking through the documentary you shot for us in Ukraine. Basically, I just wanted to ask if you could take me through a few things. We're looking at these kids at camp, right? Like singing around a a campfire? This is a summer camp for children run by a military battalion on the outskirts of Kiev. Summer camps in Ukraine are common, but this one is much more extreme. The kids spend a week on the camp. They learn patriotic songs, they receive firearms combat training, and they participate in combat reconstructions. The children that you're seeing in this edit, half of them have a direct relationship to a battalion called Azov. So who is Azov? Azov are a controversial Ukrainian battalion. After Crimea's annexation, the official Ukrainian military didn't have enough soldiers to fight so civilians formed many of their own volunteer battalions one of which was azov soon after in november 2014 azov were brought into the official national guard so now they're a legitimate battalion дитинство взагалі не маю уявлення що таке війна мабуть не задумуєшся це зараз то дітям треба казати щоб нас війна щоб вони розуміли Моє рішення. Я цілий рік хотів цей табір. І мої мрії здійснилися. He's incredible small me. His his memory of patriotic uh literature and poems was incredible. The kids live in tents and sometimes they're woken up at 3 a.m. by fireworks or like uh, smoke grenades, you know, and they have to get out of their tents and simulate combat. But if you ask any of them, they enjoy it. These guys saw action, right? Who were they actually fighting against in that like archive footage? They are fighting Russian sympathizers. It's not Russian army, it's Russian rebels, I suppose, or perhaps even Ukrainian born Russian sympathizers. Я не лівих зрядів, я не комуніст. Я не нацист, не фашист. Я націоналіст своєї країни. I wanted to pick up on the, the nationalism thing. What do they identify as being a nationalist of Ukraine? Number one is not to be Russian, because for, for the last hundred years, Russia have been oppressing and pushing at their borders. And number two is to hold on to whatever Ukrainian identity they did have and still do have. So they're sitting between Russia and uh, Russia's ideologies, but also not wanting to join a liberalizing Western Europe. <laughs> Те ж саме ми хочемо привити до дітей, щоб вони любили Україну, щоб вони її не споклюжували. Покоління, яке зараз в нашій країні, воно повинно забезпечити фундамент для іншого покоління. Быстрее, быстрее, быстрее. And did you did you get a sense that uh, people like approve or don't approve of these camps? The idea of the Azov camp specifically is less popular depending on who you speak to. The Ukrainian public offered them some gratitude for the the work that they did in 2014 in terms of saving part of the east of Ukraine, but their ideologies are radical for the rest of Ukraine. They don't like immigration, they don't like foreigners. К сожалению, мы находимся в состоянии необъявленной войны. Мы не учим своих детей отнимать жизни. Мы учим их культуре общения с оружием. The fear that they're feeling, does that link to nationalism somehow? Historically, how their nationalism relates to fear. It's fear of their language being squashed by Russia. It's fear of their land being taken away by Russia. Is there an argument to be made that these camps kind of a stoking the fear or providing a solution 
I mean, it's difficult to say, isn't it? If the children didn't go to these camps, the children wouldn't have such a deep idea of Ukraine-Russian history. But then I guess if the war came closer, would they be hindered by that? I don't know. I'm sure the camps do propagate the fear, but whether or not it's necessary, I'm, I really don't know either. Страх – це зло. Страх – це чорна смість, яка доводить людей до сказу. I think we've got everything, Spike. Okay, good luck. Speak to you soon. Bye.